Another historic election day is in the books and this morning. The results are still updating after taking Pennsylvania. Donald Trump has been elected the next president of the United States and it would make him only the second president to serve non consecutive terms. Grover Cleveland was the first. Now we're joined again by Dr. Fletcher McClellan, professor of political science at Elizabethtown College to get some more takeaways. Uh, good morning. Thank you for waking up a little bit extra here, but uh, thank you. Vice President Kamala Harris uh, put up a strong fight, but ultimately came up short here in PA. Uh, do you think the Democratic Party is surprised with this outcome? Well, I think they're surprised. Uh, they thought they had the momentum coming in. Um, they thought they had uh, uh, were doing really well among late deciding voters. And it turns out from the exit polls that uh, Trump did better among people who did uh, who decided the last few days in the last week. Why do you think Donald Trump had kind of that leg up here in the Keystone State? Well, I think it's part of a, of a national uh, wave. I think mainly this was a referendum on the Biden or Biden-Harris presidency. Uh, a lot of indicators of this, uh, three-fourths of the country uh, saying that they didn't like the direction the country was going in, two-thirds of the country saying that uh, the economy is in bad shape, President Biden's approval rating at 40 percent and none of those figures improved during the whole uh, campaign. And of course Biden himself had to uh, drop out or he withdrew from the, from the race. So this was a pretty uh, big wall for Vice President Harris to climb as it turned out. Do you see this as just the, the same story throughout the nation whether it's on the local regional and national level? Yeah we're, we're seeing the sort of the same kinds of results here Harris did you know, almost as well, but not quite as well as uh, as President Biden did, and her totals, you know, from swing state to swing state, uh, just mirrored the same uh, the same result. Okay, and uh, Kamala Harris expected to uh, speak a little bit later today. Were you at all surprised that she didn't address the country after Pennsylvania's results were announced? Uh, no, I'm not, I, I'm not surprised. I think, uh, A, it's getting late, and there was still, you know, a slight hope for uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, even Arizona. Okay, well, Dr. McClellan, you're going to be sticking with us throughout the morning, and we're going to have much more coming up with him.